I'm going to thank that magpie, wherever it's gone, for waking me up so early because it means that I've been up for just under an hour and I've had a cup of tea in bed with the bun. <laughs> it was nice once you calmed down and stopped clawing at me. <laughs> I love her eyes. Nibble, nibble. Looking for fleas. I don't think I showed you our floor. I showed you it's showing up much more um, like, oh, I'm struggling. Words. It's not showing up true. It's showing up much more uh, with a variation of colour. It's, um, let me see if I can make it a bit darker. Oh, that's not helping. It's lovely though. I'm really, really very pleased with it. I'd like to get a rug so that when you get out of bed, you, you land on something soft for both sides of the bed. Um, but that will take time because I don't want to buy new, I want to buy old ones because then they've done all their off-gassing and they're well-made and they're not full of plastic. And I need to get something to cover the blind. I've tried to make um, Roman blinds and out of sheer fabric and I didn't, I didn't manage to pull it off. I'm not really sure why because I've made millions of Roman blinds. Morning Pongo! Hey Nutter! Come on then! Look at this awful room! But I haven't had chance to uh, do anything about it because it's just been all about the garden. Yesterday I didn't even pick up a stitch of knitting. Didn't do any crafting. Never mind. Oh, that's been out since Tuesday. <laughs> they say it's going to be super hot today. Not just hot, but super hot. So I'm having a coffee and then I'm going to deadhead all the roses along this border, which was the new one I put in last week. <laughs> no, I didn't. <laughs> I'm not the Chelsea shower, shower flow. But, um, <laughs> got a hair in my mouth. I'm not the Chelsea flower show. Um, <laughs> I put it in last year. So it's a year old. It's doing very well. I'll do a tour of it later. I've fathomed out I put some new things in and I've realised I put them in funny places so I'm going to swap them around come the autumn and some of the new plants I got yesterday are going to go in there and over there and I want to yeah I don't know what I want to do I wanted loads of stuff oh my goodness look at the bindweed that's crept up on me right I better grub that out and, oh, it's just nice to see it, isn't it? But it's gonna be really hot, so I'm going to do, I'm gonna save my energy, I'm gonna do the gardening. Should I turn you around? Or would you prefer this view? Probably better than my ugly mug. Oh, the fever view's beginning to flower. Oh, so pretty. I shall do light, genteel lady gardening duties this morning because that's what I like. And I will do some harder grafting this evening once the sun's gone down. When I say harder grafting, I'm just going to dig a couple of holes and put the plants in them. You know, when I say I don't like gardening, I ought to qualify that. What I don't like doing, it's a bit bright, what I don't like is the graft. I don't like the heavy duty, the hard, the dirty jobs. What I do like is the wafting around and deadheading and picking plants and pricking out, sowing seeds, light pruning, collecting seeds, harvesting food. So there's a lot of gardening that I do like. 
but it's the springtime graft I don't like. It's the lugging of the compost, it's the moving of the pots, it's the digging of the holes, the dividing of the plants. Well, that's autumn really. But I really, 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 really enjoy a pretty garden. And quite a few of you have said in comments to me, really encouraging comments, said, well, you might hate gardening, but you're very knowledgeable and you're, you're very good at it. Well, we've been here 17 years and I've been trying and learning and failing and trying and learning and winning for almost two decades. It's 17 and a half years, you see, so almost two decades. And when people say, you can't hate gardening, look, look how good your garden is. Well, my answer to that is, you don't have to like your job to be good at it. <laughs> and yeah, I think I have grown to be a good enough gardener for what I need. Wilfie Woozle is off school again today because his hay fever is diabolical. And I think he went back a bit early yesterday. He, um, he was feeling all right, slightly scratchy throat, but they had assessments. So I, I, he needed to go in really. But Thursday is a busy day for him because he has swimming in the morning, then he has a full day then he has water, water games after school as a school club and then football training. So it's everything that he absolutely loves and he really wanted to go and I thought he'd be okay. But by the time we got back yesterday, he his eyes were, he looked like a frog, <laughs> bless him. And he, um, yeah, just really feeling ghastly. So, it took him ages to get to sleep and we sat and listened to Charlie in the chocolate factory and he had a flannel over his eyes and <clears throat> his nose was really bunged up so I was Vicks Vapo rubbing him and Olbus oiling and giving him all the hay fever stuff. Yeah, poor little thing. So he's off and I'm just making a puff pancake mostly eggs so it's nice and nice and healthy my recipe is the Elliot homestead recipe it's 12 eggs it's a lot of eggs I've got a lot of eggs I've also got a lot of milk so I need to use it all up so it's oh Phil's just started with the kanga drill out there so it's 12 eggs cup and a half of milk, cup and a half of flour, <clears throat> quarter of a cup of maple syrup, and then you butter whatever you're gonna cook it in, and set your oven to about 190 if it's a fan, and cook it until it's puffy and custardy and delicious. And I will be serving it with some natural yogurt and some strawberries I'll go and pick in a minute. I feel fancy. I might even put a few sprigs of mint. And if I was still feeling like Instagram was a happy place and a safe place to be, I'd be taking a picture of it and uploading it. I cannot be doing with Instagram at the moment with all of the, you must use this hashtag, you mustn't use that hashtag, it's triggering, it's this, that and the other because I constantly put my foot in it anyway. Just open my mouth, I put my foot in it. So to have something permanently there, and even if you delete it, it's permanent because someone can take a screenshot. Um, I just feel vulnerable. I just feel vulnerable. But it's weird that I don't feel vulnerable over here. It's just because you guys are so nice. And I also think that you can, with with hashtags you can send a secret message and you can you don't and the tone is not always apparent. Whereas when you're on YouTube and someone's talking, you 
get the gist of whether they're fake, I think. I'm so hungry. <laughs> it's gonna take ages to cook as well. But I need to go and, well, not ages, but half an hour. I need to go and dig up some flow mist because that's right where Phil's working. And rather than it getting squished, which is inevitable, you, you can't do what he's doing without, oh, eggshell, without potentially stepping back onto a plant. Uh, I'm gonna dig it up, put it in a pot and give it to my mate, Joe for her garden. Stuck my thumb in that one. Okay, I should go now. Woo! Look at that baby. Right, it should start to sink now. It should still be a bit custody. Yummers! So if you want the recipe, Go back a couple of seconds and write it down. <laughs> That's what I'll do. Oh, yum. Sorry about that noise. It's been cold. Bless him, he needs to wear a hat in this sun. I love this plant that I walked past on my walk. And I did the plant identifying thing not on an app there's this new thing on the iphone where you take a photo and then you swipe up and it says look up plant and you can look it up so i did and this is a frilly duxia let me smell it it does have a very slight fragrance so i've come out with my secateurs and a plastic bag recycled <laughs> and I'm taking cuttings. Ooh, I feel like Monty Don. Look at me in a colourful dress carrying the plant I've taken some cuttings of. What you can see here is a massive pot of lots and lots of cuttings. So I've done the Dutzia, however you pronounce it. Oh, Pauline from Graham and Pauline in France said that my French accent when I was reading out that rose was terrible. <laughs> She's right. Terrible. <laughs> I have to hear it first and then I can mimic. Oh, that did make me chuckle. You made me laugh, Pauline. <laughs> it's always lovely to see your comments. Oh, whatever am I filming? Look at the state of them. Dead. Oh, no wonder. Oh, what a moron. There's <laughs> no water in there. Oh, no. Oh. And bad things happen to good people. And because I'm cutting down that Spirit of Freedom rose, I've done as many cuttings as I could possibly take. How many have I got here? One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, sixteen. 17, 18, 19, 20, 20. Probably only one will take. I was having a conversation with my, I think it was with my mum. Was it with you, mum? And she said that she didn't have so much luck with cuttings and that I seem to do really well at them. And we established that it's just a game of, terrible vlogger here, it's just a game of numbers. If you do enough cuttings, one of them will take. So that's what I do. I just do loads. Oh, that's heavy. I'm gonna plunge it into some water now. I've just taken my hair down to see if I could make myself look less of the wreck of Hesperus. And uh, now I look like Medusa. So, my ancient mythology, I would bid you do you for now. It's time for me to cut Ted's hair in my boy's home. Where are you? Where are you? I'm waiting for you. I want to cut your bonnet. I started. 
I started cutting his hair, but it was sticking up everywhere, so I sent him off for a shower. Are you coming? What? Did I you just call me? It needs recutting. You don't think it needs recutting? No, it's fine. <laughs> we have had our little mini. You stay there, Margo. We've had our little mini barbecue, and now I'm going up to. I was just about to say I'm going up to clean my teeth. That's because I was just talking to somebody about teeth. Um, I'm going up to charge up Toby's car because it's got a bigger um, range than my car. So I'm just going to swap all the cars around. And then I'm going to have a shower. And I might go and sit in the, in the outdoor hangout place. But I actually did not sleep well last night. The... I couldn't get to sleep. Oh gosh, it stinks of petrol in here. I filled up the jerry cans. I filled up the jerry cans for Ted's farm. Start again. I've, I filled up the jerry cans for Ted's quad, farm quad bike and spilt some on my feet so now my car smells of petrol oh, how long is it gonna honk for huh that's what i want to know let's park in this middle carport and then go and charge up the spaceship <laughs> i'm looking forward to seeing my family tomorrow i haven't seen Two of my cousins and my uncle since December, but I have seen twice my cousin Keel. Uh, he came, he, he, we went to see Top Gun together. He came about three weeks ago and stayed over. It's lovely. Do have a laugh. Brilliant. One good thing that came out of my nan passing away was it brought us all back into communication with one another again how do i unplug this oh i'm gonna have to go Ow. it's far too high tech for me it's a struggle for me to even get in it <laughs> right i shall bid you adieu and see you tomorrow at some point, I've got loads of stuff I need to do before I head off tomorrow. So I will probably, oh gosh, am I going to be able to record much tomorrow at all? Oh, the radio's just come on. Um, we'll see. You guys are used to my patchy vlogs and none of you mind. So that's brilliant. Thank you.